And we're following more breaking news. Suffolk County Police releasing new info about the women known as the Gilgo Four, all victims in the Long Island serial killer case that has stumped detectives for more than a decade. Jody Goldberg is live in Oak Beach with details as investigators look for new leads in the unsolved murders. Jody. Lori, Steve, good evening to you. This new information came down early this afternoon. All along, the new police commissioner promising to make the case a priority. All of this, hopefully, will solve such an old case. Facts about four women who are victims of the unsolved Gilgo Beach murders that took place more than 10 years ago were released by the Suffolk County Police Department on Thursday afternoon. This information might be helpful to trigger somebody who is involved in these killings to speak, come forward, make a mistake. John Ray, who represents Shannon Gilbert's estate, is continuing to push for the release of the 911 calls. But for now, the attorney says any new information is helpful when it comes to moving an old case forward. Gilbert was an escort who went missing in 2010. Her disappearance led to the discovery of several remains in the area. Each little piece of new information has value. According to police, Maureen Brainerd Barnes was a 25-year-old sex worker who advertised on sites including Craigslist under the names Juliana or Marie. And when investigators were looking into Melissa Bartholemy, they found cell phone activity in Manhattan, Freeport, Massapequa, and Lindenhurst. After she was reported missing, her younger sister received taunting calls from who they believe could be the potential killer. As for Megan Waterman, seen in this video released by police last month, records show she called her pimp to tell him she was going to a convenience store, walked out of the hotel, and wasn't seen again. And lastly, Amber Lynn Costello, police say she shared a cell phone with her roommate at the time, who was also a sex worker. The victims were dubbed the Gilgo Four because they were located within a quarter mile of each other. The public is a brilliant source of knowledge. They're the ones that need to help us solve this case. So the only way that happens is give them the information. And we reached out to the Suffolk County Police Department. No one was available to go on camera or answer any questions regarding the update. The reward now $50,000 for any information leading to an arrest and conviction. Anyone with tips, they're asked to call Crime Stoppers at number 800-220-TIPS. In Babylon, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News. Stephen Laurie, back to you. Jody, thank you.